Hi everyone, it's Andrea and I'm here today with an unboxing. Um, I got home tonight and found some packages from HarperCollins. They um, are uh, distributors for um, Carlton Publishing. Carlton Publishing are a British group uh, that published mostly non-fiction books. They publish internationally, but mostly they're non-fiction. They do do gifts and games and children's books. Um, as well as colouring books and some fiction. So I've been talking to their head of publicity, Carol Farley, and she has uh, offered to send me some books. So I sent her a list of, of what I was interested in and she sent them to me. Now I will um, link their website down below in the information box. So if you want to go and check out some of their titles, you, you can certainly do that. Now um, I'm going to get on with the packages. Uh, so some of their books are... Yeah. Um, range prices range from something like 6 99 up to 50 pounds depending on what it is you're ordering so i'm just this is the one i'm gonna have trouble getting into so, oh dear right so i've got a dispatch notice here as well let me just have a look in and have a look at this so this is a book called Lizzie Siddall this is a, a non-fiction biography uh, subtitled the tragedy of a pre-raphaelite supermodel and it's by Lucinda Hawksley it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be um, Elizabeth Siddall was a poet and artist and tragic lover she rose from the obscurity of Southwark slum become one of the most famous faces in Victorian Britain even today, those who do not know her name always recognise her face. She is Millet's doomed Ophelia and Rossetti's beautiful, beautified Beatrice. So this is a biography of her. I thought it sounded absolutely fascinating. Um, and apparently she committed suicide in 1862. Um, so I wanted to read this because I thought it would sound very interesting. So that's the first one that they sent to me. I know I'm going to put all these. And the next box is massive. It's a bit battered, but it is massive. So excuse me while I just open it. So. Here we go. Oh, we got lots in here. Let's see what's this. This is uh, component delivery note. So they've sent me 12 of the ones I'd asked for, which is fine. Happy with that. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. So that's fine. That's just the delivery note with what they sent me. There we go. So I'm going to go through this one at a time. So the first book I can see on the top is... <clears throat> Uh, the Beatles, the stories behind the songs 1962 to 1966. That's actually the one I requested, but it'll do. Um, by Steve Turner. It's this little volume here. I'm quite happy with that though. And it tells you all about the different songs. And there's lots of photographs of Fab Four in there as well. So I'm quite happy with that one. That'll be interesting. And the next one I have is... The Little Book of Chanel by Emma Baxter Wright. So this is obviously a little book about Chanel. Um, and it's got some of the designs and the history of the, history of the fashion. So it, bears, it says, celebrates the life and the life's work of this hugely influential couturier, charting her rise to success from a humble background through the global phenomenon of the brand as it expanded into perfume, jewellery and accessories to the legacy that continues today. Even now, many years after her death, the designer remains the immovable figurehead behind the house of Chanel. So I am going to enjoy this one. I thought this would be fascinating. So there's beauty and fragrance. So there's uh, Chanel number five. Red lipstick, picture credits, acknowledgements, just wondering, is, is there, 
Yeah, so, so that looks very interesting. Nice little hardback book about um, Chanel and Coco Chanel. So that'll be fascinating. And next is another little book of. And this is the little book of Audrey Hepburn, which is a beautiful cover. This is by Caroline Jones. And I don't actually own any books on Audrey Hepburn. It's more shame for me. Um, so it says, filled with stunning photographs, this fascinating tribute illustrates Hepburn's life and shows her unique beauty made her a dream subject for designers and photographers alike. Featuring collaborations with Givenchy and stills from sets of her most famous films. So yes, there are some, oh look at this, look at that. How beautiful is that photograph of Audrey? That is stunning. So yes, this is another one that I'm going to uh, really, really enjoy when I get a chance to to read it. Like I said, this is a wide selection of the different types of, ooh, I just use it really nice, but just the types of books that they do. So the next one I've got is the fictional book and it's actually a hardback copy of Peter Benchley's Jewels. Now, I've wanted this ever since Peter Mon over at Peter Light's Books read this for one of the readathons. I think it was Booktubeathon he read it for. And he said it's better than the film. And I thought, oh, I must get this. And then I saw it on there and I thought, well, why not? I'll ask for this. What a beautiful edition. You know, a beautiful hardback edition of Jaws. Ooh, I, I'm really enjoying this, by the way. So next I've got a book on Jack the Ripper. This one is the Jack the Ripper case book. The crimes of Jack the Ripper have hunted, haunted the imagination of the world since his murderous reign. Now, I've already got one that's similar to this. Basically, this is a slip cased book, and this is what they are very, very good at. You get these ones, and you get pull out inserts. So, like documents. So, for instance, this first one here is Metropolitan Police Division, 31st of August 1888. It's a report. So you get things like that tucked away inside it in various sections. There's another section here and this one's got some of the Jack the Ripper letters. Like that. Oh, that's this one here that's fallen out. So this one is Dear Boss, October the 10th. So yeah, so you, they, and these are what Carlton books do ever so well. And I have got several of their books that do this. They've done several Marilyn ones as well and I've got the Shakespeare. There's a Shakespeare one and I've got that. Um, they are very good at these and I cannot get them all back in sadly. Um, yeah so sadly they do show the picture of Mary Kelly after death which I don't like and then it goes on to, to the murders that are after it. So this one is going to be very very interesting I think with the um, inserts and the potential suspects. So I always like these ones. I think they, they just look and this one looks really nice. The way it's been done with the slipcase is beautiful. Okay. So next we have got that down there. Oh, Sherlock: Facts and Fiction Behind the World's Greatest De Detective, and this is actually by Martin Fido. Now, oh, there was a bit of a post-it on there. I actually remember, recognise the name Martin Fido because Martin Fido is actually big in the Ripperology community and he's written several books on Jack the Ripper. So who else would be better to write a book on Sherlock Holmes? So this one's going to be actually very interesting and just says to the many, he is the eccentric intellectual detective immortalised in print and screen as the man with the dear circle hat and pipe, but Sherlock Holmes was a far darker, more complex character than he is sometimes perceived. So Sherlock explores the myths and reality of Sherlock Holmes, his creator, and the era in which Conan Doyle's mysteries were published. Highlights from the canon of Sherlock Holmes are reviewed, as well as some of his films, television and radio appearances that have been played by actors including John Barrymore, Christopher Plummer, and more recently Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. I can't pronounce that name today, and Benedict Cumberbatch. I actually love Sherlock with Benedict Cumberbatch. I think it's a fantastic series. I can't wait for the new one that's out. I think it's in the new year. There are some lovely pictures in this book and because it's by Martin Fido, he's a name I know and respect, I know I'm going to enjoy this one. I'm very, I'm loving these books. Next one is The Jack the Ripper Files. Now again, this is by Richard Jones. So this is the same guy that wrote, I believe, the case book. So it's probably the same book, but in two different formats. So you've got, and this is what they do very well, Carlton Books. This one doesn't have the pullouts. Oops, she says destroying the book. It doesn't have the pullouts, but it does have 
the fasten mills reproduced in the actual book. So on the casebook one, you can pull them out. In this one, they're actually part of the text. So that's actually really, really good. And again, it just looks fantastic. The cover is absolutely amazing. Oh, next is a book on one of my most favourites, because, oh my God, this is quite a big one as well. So I'm really happy they sent me this one. And this is called The Treasures of Ancient Egypt. As you know, oh look, you can't see me now. <laughs> can't see me, um, is one of my favourite things. I love Egypt. anything to do with ancient. Again, it's one of their slipped case editions, which I really love. I really, really love them. And again, it says from the Rosetta Stone to the tomb of Tutankhamun, the search for the riches of ancient Egypt. So absolutely wonderful. And again, it's one of the ones with the little pull out inserts, which I actually really like. And it tells you, there's a bit about here about the de decipherment of the hieroglyphics, which is, I'm really gonna like this one. After reading The Keys of Egypt this month for nonfiction November, it's really, really got my interest going in ancient Egypt. Not that it ever went away, but to the point that, oh, I want to collect more and I want to read more books on Egypt. And I am going to really enjoy going through this book. Um, and what I plan to do is once I've read them, I am going to show you them in dedicated videos. So we will do a dedicated video to this book and I will pull out all the inserts for you so you can have a look, quick look at them. But I do like the, the, the fact that it is slipped cased. Ah! Beautiful that is, I think. Next is oh, Nirvana, the biggest rock band of the 90s. So this is about Nirvana, obviously. So uh, let's have a look. So yeah, there's lots of fit, pit photographs mostly of the band from the beginning. Obviously till, I assume, just after Kurt Cobain's uh, death. Yeah, I would think. I'm just gonna have a quick look. Yeah, it, it ends with his death. So that's a nice little picture book for Nirvana fans. And again, I, I'll, I'll, I will do some features on all these books later. There are two more books. There, I think there's more books to come because on the list, excuse me, it does say uh, another book, Man and Star, but it's not yet published. So. That might be why it's it's not here yet, the, the Marilyn one, which is a shame because that's the one I was desperately after. But, um, so I also asked for two colouring books because I've never done any uh, colouring. Well, not since I was little. And I thought I'd like to do a bit more. I'd like to have another go. So the first one I asked for was the Fairyland colouring book. It, it says it's designed for grown-ups and there's more than 120 magical des designs. Um, inspired by fairies and spirits so there's some really nice ones in here so you're seeing these at the first time as me oh I like that one that's really nice and the second one was the butterflies coloring book so again 120 stunning butterflies is that oh my god I'm gonna have so much fun coloring these in so yes Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. That is stunning. So currently, those are all the books that I received from Carlton. Um, I do believe there may be that Marion style might be coming separately because it's not actually out yet. It's not out till March yet. So these are the ones that are currently out. Um, but I'm hoping that will come out soon. Um, but yes, fabulous. Very, very excited to read these and, and to get these and to be able to review them for you. Um, and like I said, I will do not so much the current books, although I will show you them because I'm determined to get back into adult current books because it's just fun. Um, but I will come and show you individually all the different books as I go through them and I will review them for you. Like I said, I will leave a link to the Carlton website below so that if you want to go and have a look around their site, you can do. I'm very excited. It's very exciting to get boxes of books, you know, from publishers and, you know, and, and just to be able to, to have a look at some of these books that you've never, you know, maybe you wouldn't have picked up for. I probably wouldn't have picked that up in the shop, but, well, actually I probably would have because it's by Martin Fido, but there you go. Um, but I'm really looking forward to, to reading the different versions of the Sherlock Holmes stories and 
uh, behind the image and again Peter Benchley's Jaws I probably I would have picked it up but I may not have picked up this edition and I think this is a gorgeous edition of Jaws and I finally have started my Audrey Hepburn collection so I'm very excited about that the first book I own on lovely Audrey it will not be the last so those are all the books that I received from Carlton Publishing I gotta be honest I'm very very excited that I did receive those if I do receive anything else I will obviously let you know uh, nearer the time or when I do receive them, so in a haul or something. So that's all from that, uh, from my Carlton Books haul, book publishing haul, unboxing thing. You know what I'm like. Uh, that's it for this video. If you've really liked this one, um, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment, let me know which book you want me to review first, and I can quite happily move them around and, and, and so on and put them to the each side of my TBR. You know, if you want me to, to let you know what the Sherlock book's like, I can put that to the top and read that as soon as possible. Just let me know in the comments. And don't forget to share this with your friends because they might be interested in some of uh, Carlton, books, uh, Carlton Publishing's books. And if you're not already a subscriber, please click the subscribe button so that you'll get updates when I post new videos. I will be seeing you soon. Happy reading because I'm going to go and do some now. And I'll see you soon. Bye.